This right here is the biggest tech update to light switches in over 107 years. What took them so long? In 1917, the toggle switch was invented, but you know those screw terminals are tricky and they require a lot of work. So why are we still using them? Well, we haven't had any options until now. So one of the advantages of lever technology is you're not gonna have to use this anymore. So to protect ourselves from electrical shock, we have been using electrical tape. This black vinyl tape is electrical tape and we have been using it to hide and cover our screw terminals for safety for a very long time, especially in those metal boxes. But now you don't have to do this anymore. So to replace your light switch, you turn off the power and I'm actually just gonna see what we have here. And already on the side, I can see a very common problem with our screw terminals. Let's take a closer look in there. We confirm no power, that's good. Let's take a look at our terminal screws here. Already we have three huge problems. You do not wanna see any exposed copper wire here with a terminal screw. You want this sheathing or insulation to be right up where this clamp is. This wire can also wrap around your terminal screw and make a J-hook. That would have been a safe connection. Also, we have exposed copper here, bad, but even worse is this is a backstab connection, which means the wire is inserted in the back. So this is something that I would remove definitely out of a house and I'm surprised to see here in the first place. Let's fix this. I'm just using an insulated screwdriver to back out these wires here. I have two hot wires and I'm gonna back that out. So that's ridiculously long. And then this is a backstab connection. There we go. So our switch right here is not grounded. So I'm going to install right now a piece of 14 gauge wire so that we can ground this light switch and make it safe. This prevents electrical shock. I'm gonna take this little loop and hook it onto the back of the ground screw at the back of my electrical box and then screw it in so that this will be nice and safe. So now that we've fixed our ground wire, we can cut these to length using the strip gauge on the side. I'm using my linesman pliers and I'm just gonna cut it to the appropriate length and then just double check on the gauge that you have indeed made that the right length. Let's do that now. All right, we're good. And then we'll do this one. There we go. So to install your switch, you're gonna notice that it says top at the top and you're gonna have your ground terminal right here at the top. We're gonna to start with that. Make sure you push in your wire right into that opening all the way. You wanna push it all the way and then you close it and you hear that click. You wanna hear a nice loud click and that tells you you've made a secure connection. Now over on this side, we have two black terminals with a black lever. I'm gonna take my first black wire, insert it, push it all the way, then close it. Again, loud click, that's what you wanna hear. And the second one, my wires are not, there we go. Push it in all the way, loud click. And you wanna make sure you do not have any exposed copper wire at the back of your device. So to make sure you have a good connection after each wire goes in the terminal, give it a little pull to make sure everything is in there nice and solid. What I like, we have our terminals, they are all enclosed here, no exposed parts. We've got a metal box and we've improved our grounding already with that nice ground wire. Now we're gonna push this in. As we push this back into our electrical box, you're gonna notice a big difference on the straps here between the old light switch. These are wider and taller. But what do you think about this new feature? Let's take a look. Okay, so this tongue and groove alignment system is great. I like this. But now I want to install my wall plate, which is screwless, and I can't because of the tails here. I have to remove these tabs. So these tabs work if you have Leviton wall plates, which I don't because they're super expensive. These are budget brand and I like them because they work really well and it saves me money. So now I have to take off the tabs. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, bend, bend, bend. Okay, oh, that was easy. That was easy. Okay, that was good. Just a slight bend there. Now let's try this side, the top side. I'm gonna get my pliers on there. I'm gonna do a little bit of a twisting motion. 
Okay, they remove very easily, but was that necessary? That's the question. What do you think? Throw it down in the comments. Do you like this extra step of removing this little thing? I don't know. I don't think that's necessary. What about you? So how strong are these levers in the first place? Can this light switch lift 35 pounds or 16 kilos? I'm gonna put this one to the test. You wanna push it in all the way? Let's test this out. So it's workout time for this switch. Let's give this a go. 35 pounds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what do you guys think? Is this strong enough for you? Okay, my wrists are shot. I love how this works. A point for the easy alignment, that's great. And I do like these screwless wall plates. I buy the budget brand, because I like to save money. And I'm using screwless wall plates. So the screws are hidden. Let's test this out and see how easy this is. Okay, ooh, I like it. Test it out. So installing a light switch and wiring it now is easier than ever thanks to the lever technology, which simplifies the process. You saw those old screw terminals in the original switch with all those mistakes, and that is not uncommon at all if you're not an electrician. So what do you think about the levers? Please have your say in the comments. And I'm getting lots of questions about the price, of course, which we all want to know. If you buy in bulk, that's the 10 pack. They are $3 for Canadians, $2 for Americans, because you guys get all the good deals and all the links will be in the description for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about why we moved away from these screw terminals in the first place, I'll have all the information right here in this video. Thank you so much for watching and welcome if you're new and thanks for the support. See you in the next one.